A local woman's family and friends are honoring her legacy through a memorial blood drive. Allison Wacklowak died suddenly in August of last year during childbirth from a rare condition. Kayla Green joins us now to tell us more about her and what her family and friends are doing for her. Kayla. Adam, that condition is called an amniotic fluid embolism. It affects only one in 50,000 pregnancies. Allie Wacklowak was that one. Allie was just the best. She, she did everything the right way. Katie Selwood and Allie Wacklowak were best friends since they were three years old. And neither one of us had a sister, so it, it kind of became like we were sisters. We did most things together. Um, she was there for all of my first. I was there for most of hers. One of those firsts, Allie getting pregnant with her first child. Her mom says everything was normal until she lost consciousness right before she gave birth. The medical staff came in and, you know, did everything they could to, you know, help, you know, keep her alive and deliver the baby. And um, they did deliver the baby successfully through C-section, but unfortunately, Allie did not survive. Wacklowak died when amniotic fluid got into her bloodstream. Dr. Daniel Grace is a maternal fetal medicine specialist. So you have this kind of perfect storm of inability to breathe, inability to circulate blood, inability to form blood clots while actively bleeding, and it becomes a true emergency. There aren't risk factors or a test you can take to find out if you have this condition. That's why Wacklowek's family wants to raise awareness about it. So many people came forward and said, what can we do to help? We are so sorry for your loss. We are so touched ourselves for your loss. So, <laughs> so Katie, <laughs> Ellie's best friend growing up, stepped forward and said, I want to do a memorial blood drive. And honor her memory. One thing that Ellie offered to people was a feeling of home. You know, when you, when you go on vacation and you come home and you get that sense of relief, Ellie gave that to people just from being in a room. That blood drive will be held this Saturday at the Gates Fire Department. Appointments aren't necessary, but they are recommended. And you can sign up on redcrossblood.org using keyword Allie Carey Memorial. Kayla Green, News 8. All right, Kayla, thank you for sharing that story with us. A true tragedy matched by true strength. The AFE Foundation, by the way, is working on finding a cause of this rare condition. For more information and for a link to register for this weekend's blood drive, you can go to this story, which is at rochesterfirst.com.